Behold the radiant glory of our star of stars, the true star of Bethlehem. Listen to his word resounding. Deep calls unto deep, and he calls and roars louder than ever before, calling each of our names as if we truly were the only one. And as this greatest good news of Revelation 14's everlasting gospel goes forth to all nations as a silent witness of love, the Lord's most explosive glory of peace shall begin covering the circle of the earth and the whole universe in the spirit like invisibility finally seen in the next dimensions and like love's very best truth always covers over all ridiculous error even the error that god w was ever god of favoritism otherwise he would have been a respecter of men and uh, praise God that his covenant has been for all mankind. He says to all, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it again. I'll write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught in me, saith the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Just keep your love alive, saith the Lord. Be as a little child with your love as a verb. Let it not become a noun in the land of the walking dead, having a form of godliness, denying the power of love. For love is all in all. Every knee shall bow unto love. Every tongue shall uh, confess him. For he is the superb regal, our radiant sovereign, and the most glorious majesty of majesties. And that roaring lion of Zion alone is the hero of heroes, icon of icons, and the loving desire of all angels who are his people. We are angels or demons in the flesh. We can be what we want to be. But understand that the continual assurance of hope and the pledge of peace evermore comes from the great white throne, along with the promise giver, uh, uh, the promise of eternal life that we inherit from his endless mercy and from his everlasting love. For he alone is our living oath unto his absolute truths. Uh, and praise God that he is the remover of our, our abyss the banisher of our oblivion, and the living glue that's holding all creation together. So let all people look up, for he alone is the wonder of wonderful, the amazing amazement, and the most marvelous living marvel of all. And he is the deep calling unto the deep. So come out away with me. It's time. It's time that all of us, our hearts need to become steadfast in our rock of the ages, our Lord God, the Ancient of Days, who is the, the light of our love, who is love living in each and every one of us. And our hearts shall be steadfast, and we shall sing and make music. We will praise him day and night among the nations. We will sing of him among all the peoples, for great is his unending love, and his mercy endureth forever, because it reaches far beyond the heavens, and his faithfulness reaches far beyond the skies. Evermore exalted is he under the heavens, and let his glory fall all over the earth. So it's time that we realize that his, uh, he, we are to be in his service and sing his hymns because then it raises up him in us and our love becomes better and bigger and bolder because of his smile. And these are the days when his love has nourished my heart so that he can nourish all of yours, all, all who desires spiritual meat upon this mountain of food of Isaiah 25, where all uh, shame and guilt shall be removed. For our love is the Lord, and we will always sing unto him, and we will always be strengthened by his praises, uh, because we have faith in him. And we will open our mouths, and his spirit will speak through us the glory of the Lord, and his beauty will embrace us like our warmest comforter. And the work of his hands and the labor of his fingers shall bring forth his honor and magnify it amongst the peoples. For the multitude of his mercy shall 
shall be made known by the strength of his word. And his everlasting word of the Lord will investigate all that which is invisible and reveal it through revelation to all people led by his spirit of truth. For the eye sees his work, the ear hears his thought, but it is the spirit of prophecy alone that uh, is the revealer of Christ Jesus' unconditional love. And it is he who has made the earth broad and placed the waters in the sea. He expanded the heaven. He fixed the stars. And he fixed the creation and set it up and then rested from his works. And he created things to run according to their courses and work their works. For they can never cease, nor could they ever fail. And the hosts which we shall be, we are angels in the flesh. Jesus said we we are uh, gods in John 10. And all the creation has been groaning for the uh, revelation with great expectation of who we are. We are the last, created last because we are first. That's why Satan hated us before his removal. So praise the Lord that the reservoir of his light of love is the sun of righteousness arising with healing in his wings our son of love to destroy all the gross darkness the truth that all people have wanted only love divine unconditional from him and yet none of us are willing to have that for each other and this will bring the kingdom age by his word as all the hearts of the fathers turn to the children and children to the fathers so this earth shall not be heard and we will evermore celebrate, for he has made the sun for this day, at this appointed time. And the vision of God was written for the appointed time at the end. It was written plainly, so all those hearing this great alarm may run, that the wheat may leave the tares behind, until they be become wheat also. And know therefore that the night brings darkness over the face of the earth, but by our portion uh, can come the complete beauty of God. And we can know absolutely without any doubt that there's nothing outside of the Lord because he is all in all and because he was before anything ever came to be. For all the worlds are by his living word, by the words let it be. And that wasn't no Beatles. Uh, so praise and give it honor and glory to his name now evermore. And know that in these days of the Lord's harvest, bringing forth the separation of his wheat and tares, he has cast down his most passionate fires of love upon the earth to burn everything down. And uh, for that cause of his most fervent glory, of his brightest glittering glory, shall now cover our dying world like music covering parades, like beauty covering gorgeous artwork, like poetry in motion covering the awaiting ears of the wise. Then will come the explosion of kingdom age hope in the quake of his mercy that's dawning by his word. Amen. Come on back, people.